Hello, my name is Alejandro Murillo with GSC, and today we're going to take a look at all the different ways of hiding and showing components in your assemblies. A lot of time when uh, assembling components together in order to create an assembly, sometimes you have to hide or show specific areas of your assembly. In this lesson, this, that's exactly what we're going to do. So for, first we'll begin by showing you four different ways of hiding components in your assembly. The first way, and probably the most commonly used way, is simply by right-clicking a component in the graphic pane and hitting the Hide Components command. And the icon looks like a little eyelid with a little line going through it. And as you can see there, it allows you to easily hide your components in the graphic pane. Another way you can do this is if you actually right-click a component in the feature tree. Let's pick a, let's pick a visible item. So if I right click this hard stop, you'll see that that hide components command once again appears. And I'll go ahead and click it. And you can see that the component is hidden. The third way, and this is actually my favorite way of hiding components, is simply by using your keyboard, keyboard shortcuts. And the keyboard shortcuts for hiding components is the tab key. And you can see here by hitting the tab key, I can easily and quickly hide several components in my assembly. Now the fourth way, and this one is less known, is it right next to your display manager is actually this little single arrow. And sometimes you won't be able to see it if your feature tree is too narrow. Uh, you'll see these double arrows here. Those simply toggle between your different uh, managers. So if you expand your feature tree wide enough, you'll get a single arrow. And when you click that arrow, this will allow you to control the visibility of several items in your feature tree, including your components. Uh, if you have sketches uh, that are not absorbed, you can also control the visibility of uh, sketches as well as planes and reference geometry. In this case, I just want to control the visibility of my components. So I'll go ahead and click this component icon. And you can see that my components begin to become hidden. So those are four ways of hiding components in your assembly. Next, I'm going to show you five different ways of showing components that were previously hidden. Uh, and pretty much most of them, you're going to repeat the same procedure uh, as hiding the components. So for example, if I want to uh, show a component that's currently hidden, I can right click the component from the feature tree. And now I can hit the show components command, which is a little eyelid uh, that does not have the line going across it. And you can see the component reappears. The other way is if you use your keyboard shortcut, this time instead of pressing tab, we're going to hold shift and the tab key. And in this case, anything we hover over while holding these two buttons will reappear, as you can see here. Once again, I'm not actually clicking individual items, I'm simply hovering over them, and they begin to reappear. I can do this for the back side as well. In that case, that became hidden, shift tab, and you can see right there it reappears. I can also make items disappear and reappear from our little pullout menu. So I'll click this one. And once you can see the, the decal reappears. And then a very uh, useful way of showing multiple components at the same time they were previously hidden. Let me just hide a couple components really fast using my tab key. You can see I could do this very quickly. Is there's actually a command under assembly called show hidden components. And when you click this command, it will only show you the items that are currently hidden and it will hide the components that are currently shown. You can see here that now I only see the components that are currently hidden. 
And if I click these components, you'll see that they disappear because now they have become shown. And once I exit this show hidden components command, you'll see that all those components that were previously hidden are now shown. Another neat trick for showing hidden components, let me go ahead and hide this cover as well as this decal, is this is another keyboard shortcut. If you hold Control, Shift, and Tab, you'll see transparent. Uh, you'll see all your hidden components, but they'll be transparent. And if you hold this key, the, these three uh, keyboard buttons, and then click that transparent component, you'll see that now it becomes hidden. And I'll do this one more time. Control, Shift, Tab. I'll hit the decal that was previously hidden. I'll left click it, and now it becomes shown. And those are uh, four or five additional ways of showing hidden components. As a bonus, I'm going to show you one more way of showing or hiding components. And this is actually an interesting one that I discovered not too long ago. And that is by using your search bar. On the top of your feature tree, you actually have a search bar. And if you start typing a specific uh, part's name, let's just say we type in nylon, you'll see that everything becomes hidden other than the components that have the name nylon in the feature tree. If I delete this, I could also type in, let's just say M5, and you'll see that only components that have M5 in them appear. I could even do this for, let's say I type in gear. You can see the decal has uh, the word gear in it, so it actually hides everything else other than the decal itself. So this has been Alejandro with GSC. Thank you for watching.